Hello guys, welcome back to another season of Road Trip Australia, mate. We're gonna call it uh, going south. What do you <laughs> reckon? We? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> we are going south. But as so. you know, we're um, we're absolute beach bums, so mm. we we can't actually get out of um, Queensland before hitting one of our favourite spots, which we'll show you again later. But the whole reason for this series is we're going south. We're geared up with the new van. We've got all our cold weather gear, and we're gonna go from Base Camp Queensland, make our way down into New South Wales, go inland, and we're going to Mount Beauty and Falls Creek. Mm. So we will show you that over the next probably oh, five, six, seven episodes. We'll see how we go. Yeah. But uh, where we're at at the moment, we'll show you this later oh. in the vid, mate. It is one of our favourite spots on the Sunshine Coast. It's called Tiwa Beach Camping. You've got to watch the rest of the app before you get to this, <laughs> all right? Right, uh, that's enough of looking at us. Let's get into it. Uh, it's van packing day. We're just about ready to head south. Yeah, we are. You keen? Ridiculously keen. I'll be heaps keener once we roll out of here because it's it's like packing another house. It is, yeah. It's, yeah, mate. It is, it is our home. It is our home. And yeah. I'll tell you what, it's new for us because we're packing all warm weather stuff. So we're like, have we got enough? Yeah. Are we going to be warm enough? We will. We will. All right, so we'll keep packing the van. But what I want to talk to you about is, um, good luck with that, dear. <laughs> is the next stage of our base camp Queensland build is turning this little shack into an off-grid paradise, right? By off-grid, I mean uh, I don't want to be plugged in to the main source of power and I don't want to pay for power, all right? So what we've got in the background here, sitting down, when you, can you see that, that little unit there? Uh, this is what we're going to use to run our shed off-grid, so off the power grid. Uh, this is an EcoFlow Delta Pro. We've just got it. I'll give you a quick rundown of what you get. So this is, like I said, the Delta Pro. It's the big jobby. It's a 3.6 kilowatt hour battery, which is about 300 amps. And it's got a big inverter in there that runs all the appliances in my shed, or if you had a house, right? Uh, and also I've got a solar panel. Check this. It's a 400 amp solar, 400 watt, sorry, solar panel that I'm gonna chuck on the roof. I'll show you how much current that pumps in in full sun. And then we've got some cables, an AC charging cable, a car charging cable, and your solar one, and your set of instructions. All right, now, quickly, it's dark in here for a reason I haven't plugged it in. So I have a generator changeover switch on my meter box. I have this plugged in outside. All I'm gonna do is chuck this in here to one of the AC outlets and turn it on. In a few seconds, the whole shed powers up. Hey, <laughs> it's just like being on the grid, it's killer. Now in here, it tells you, I'll show a few of the features. This is your display screen that tells you all about the battery, your state of charge, your outputs, your inputs, how long until your battery goes flat. Um, and then also, so we got the coffee machine on at the moment, so it's pulling some power. Uh, it's got USB outlets, USB-C outlets, um, four AC outlets, and then um, an AC charging inlet on the back. Swing around here, or spin it around. It is pretty heavy, I'll put in the specs, because it's a big battery. But on the back here, if you're finding out, oh, well, this is where you charge it up in here. You can also switch your charging currents between fast and custom. But these two here is what I like, because I reckon that's what I'm gonna have to do. It, there's the ability to add more battery banks to this. So it'll run off the same inverter, but you can parallel in more battery banks to increase your capacity. So if you find that one's not enough to handle all your loads, then you can plug in more batteries, which I reckon I'm gonna do and add a few more solar panels to the roof as well. But this is a good start to get us going. Uh, there you go. That, my friends, is the EcoFlow Delta Pro. That's gonna be our off-grid power system in the shed. It's killer. It's also got an app. You can like just download the app and you can muck around with charge speeds and look at all your loads for different appliances and stuff. Um, yeah, and it just works like a, it's got safety inside, so it trips on circuit breakers if you overload it. Uh, it's really cool, mate, it's really cool. Check them out, link will be in the description of the video. Um, yeah, I like it, off-grid power, yeah. Here it is, I told you I'd show you what the solar's doing. At the moment, we've got 263 watts going into it, out of the 400 watt panel, and I'm guessing we've got a bit of shade up there. So, I'm gonna permanently fix my solar to the roof of the shed. Um, and most of the time, apart from the shade of those palm trees, I think we'll get um, plenty of sunshine throughout the summertime. Uh, if with enough panels, we should get enough to charge ourselves back up after what we use anyway. That is stage one of the off-grid setup. So it's like stage four or five of base camp, but it's stage one of the off-grid power. Um, yeah, keen. So when we come back, we don't have to worry about power bills. How good's that? Uh, while we're talking about that, if you've got any other hints and tips for me with um, water storage, um, veggie gardens, low maintenance stuff, uh, let us know. 
because um, we'll get there one day. We'll get there. How are you feeling, mate? Hi. Um, I'm a little bit sad to leave <laughs> Shady Mixed Shed Face, but I'm very, actually probably more excited to head south and experience something really different for us. We've never done the snow. I know. We're what about you kids? What are you thinking, kiddos? Oh, uh, yeah. How are we feeling? I'm so excited. Oh, good. That's one. What about you, Jack? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to leave Shed. You don't want to leave the Shed? What about you, Bill? Good. You good? Good, everyone's oh, good, everyone's a bit sad to leave, a bit excited. 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 This is going to be the awesomest day of my life. Epic. Wow. So now that um, we've been pulled up in old base camp for a while, I think now we're going to go through the whole adjustment period we always tell you guys about when yeah. you first leave on your travels. So we're going to remember all our tips is mm. travel slow, have heaps of fun, let kids be kids. Um, don't argue. Yeah. And just um, don't slow put, um, it down. Don't put expectations on it either. Like for us, I know, you know, we're supposed to be schooling our kids and I thought, you know what, this week I'm not schooling the kids because I just want everyone to adjust and it's just one less stress we have to kind of think about. So that's it. So we'll, go, we'll tell you more along the way. Uh, we're just going to poke, mate. Lucky to do 100 k's a day. I'm going to get out and lock up at the gate and we've locked up base camp. I've got my parents coming to visit and that sort of thing. So there'll be people checking on it. Mm. Uh, anyway. We'll get cracking and we'll show you where we pull up the Savo. It's somewhere we've always wanted to go and we've never made it. We haven't and we're going to have, oh, we'll hopefully have a campfire. So hopefully. Yeah. See how we go. Alright, let's get into it. Um, so you reckon this might, this place might be popular then? Holy cow. Okay, so just for context, yeah. it is a Monday. It is not school holidays. It's the middle of winter. It's the middle of winter. I know Queensland's very favourable for winter, but wow, <laughs> there's a lot of people in here. Well, there you go. This is our campsite. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's great. It's a good I like spot. It. <laughs> it's sort of. Yeah. There's a whole oh, hunt, I don't know, probably 20 acres of land all poking around. Um, Captain Sensible is what you're my nickname, isn't it? Nick? <laughs> so, uh, anyway, the kids are happy. We're kicking a footy. Yeah. We can walk across at the boat ramp. There is, it's a great spot. He's a tinny spot. Look of it. Every man and his dog has got his tinny. Yeah. And it's the one trip that we haven't carried ours. But anyway, you know, we're going with different trip this one. We're going south. Deep one, south. I do want to say one tip about this spot is that if you're booking a waterfront site, don't think that you're going to be like on the water. True. So yeah, we're kind of like there's a boat ramp. Yeah, they're not, they're not front, like absolute so, waterfront yeah. sites, which is a bit of a stitch up, I reckon. Yeah, it is. But anyway, anyway. but they're nice and big. They're uh, very we, good size. We got super lucky, I reckon, with this corner one, so we could back in this way and mm. not have any neighbours, so happy days. Lovely. All right, we'll um, decide on a fire or not. The weather's looking pretty ominous. Yeah. I still anyway. really what does fire? ominous mean? Like, it, like it's going to rain. All right, nearly mm. dinner time. But we've got a special occasion coming up in about 10 days. 10 days. 10 days. Someone is turning, in 10 days, they're turning how old? 10. Oh, sorry. How old are you turning? <laughs> Some days, mate, I think you might be 10. Stop it. Hey, um, a chat's with Jack. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah. I really want to know where we'll be. Like, where where do you reckon we'll be for your birthday? 10 days. Just... Where would you like to be? Gold Coast. Gold Coast? Why? Because there's that roller coaster there. You want to go to Dreamwell mm -hmm. for your birthday? Yeah. And there's Legos there. Do you reckon we could make that happen? We can make that happen. Yeah, I just have a feeling we might be there a bit earlier. Ooh. 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 That would have longer. That's right. <laughs> we can do Better. that. Better. It's your 10th. You only turned 10 once. Can you tell everyone what's on your birthday list for 10? Um, chickens. Do you mean presents or? It's not chickens. Yeah, oh. yeah present list. Um, a water gun. Oh, I'll just no. chime in here. Jack actually. Lego. Like gave me Duh. a note with and listed all the things that he wanted, which makes my job easier, so thank you. Duh. But Lego. Can you remember what they are or not? Lego. Yeah. Go on, tell oh. everyone. Hi, Lego. 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 Um, more Lego. Yeah, more Lego. Lego. Soccer ball. Soccer ball. Soccer, Soccer boots. boots. Eye boots. Oh. Handball. Boots. Handball. Um, oh, your water bottle? Oh, yeah, water bottle. Oh, yeah, an insulated water bottle. Yeah, because I never have any cold water for myself. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of you, mate. What, you know what's good about that list, do you? Yeah, I know what you're going to say, and I think I'm going to... It's yeah. just no technology know, on there. Right? No iPads, no iPods, no... No, what are those Switch things? I don't know. Yeah. There's no oh, games or technology. Nintendo. It's just all... Do you know what Nintendo. they are? Do you know what they are? So he doesn't even know what they're called. How good's that? Yeah. 
Nintendo. What do you call it? Nintendo. Nintendo. They're yeah. just so. I want one. They're it's a so classic. Cool. You want one? Yes. Uh, Here's you know, the technology. You know, one. my first one, I can't, I think I was like 15, I got a Sony PlayStation 1, a PS1. I used to play Colin McRae Rally. <laughs> Remember that? No, no, I didn't have a PlayStation. No, there you go. You would have had a Sega Mega Drive and played Sonic. I think we did have a Sega. Yeah, I did. Or I had Atari. a Sega. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, well, 10 days, we'll get to show oh everyone. Oh, my God. Yay! We I had you for 11. a whole decade. Oh, what? you know what I just thought of then, Beck? Me, last time we went to Dreamworld, oh, have we ever taken the kids? No, I think no. I went to Movie World. Ah, me and Beck went to Dreamworld. Do you remember that? And we've got some really cool photos of how my, like, fashion sense. Remember that? Standing in front of that big shark. And the roller coaster, I've got the best clothes on. <laughs> we have to I've find always them. told you, yeah, I'm a bogan, that's why she gives me heaps. But yeah. I want you know, to when I look back at those photos, I'm like, yeah. Can I remember the time you wore mum's clothes? What? Yeah. Yeah, we have a picture. This is new. Yeah, yeah you wore mum's clothes, clothes, remember? No. This is when we launched our merchandise. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. <sighs> I'll put that photo in too. But <laughs> it's not what you were thinking. <laughs> it's true. Right, so I... sign off. What's, what's your sign off for chats with Jack? Um, Jack. No. You don't remember? Got Wasn't there one? What was yours? Chicken wing? Chicken wing. What was yours? You I couldn't know. remember. You didn't come up with one. I think yours was. Um... Kaplow? No. <laughs> it was just like, cheers, we'll see you later or something. No, it's now Kaplow. Oh, nice. Oh, I, like I like it. it. Is yours still chicken wing? No. What is it? I don't know. Oh. Make up a new one. Have you got one? No. What about you, Dee? Toodles? Toodles. <laughs> yeah, you, you thought of one yet, Bill? Later Gator? Oh, Later Gator. I like Good it. One. Later Gator. In a while, crocodile. Alright, see you when you're 10. Grub's up. Grub's nearly up. Or oh, you come and check this out. Um, swing past this first. I'll tell you more about that in the future, but that's bloody nice, isn't it? I've got a favourite new knife. <laughs> it's cute. Mate, no. Have you used this back? Yeah, I have. It is the bee's knees. I will use that over the bigger knives. It's killer. Anyway, dinner time. At uh, Baffle Creek, and look at this. Come, it's not it's not an entree in Maine. This is <laughs> this is um, parents versus kids. So, Anyone else do that? Surely, it, uh, surely, surely you do. I don't know. Me and Beck, oh, I don't know what it is, but the kids don't seem to appreciate the fine dining that I dish up, do they, dear? No, they're getting better though with age, I reckon. They are. They, they, could, they, they would love that meal. Yeah, but they're not having that. No, I'm very sorry. We only got one. Anyway, this is me and Beck's. This is a bit of lamb rump. Um, and it's just like a sort of a, like a mini roast, right? It's cute. It's beautiful. I just score this. I'm going to rub a bit of um, seasoning on it, and we just got broccolini and carrots. And I'm going to do it over the fire, mate, on some charcoal. And then uh, the kids have got snags, three veg, and they'll mm -hmm. have a piece of bread with butter on it. So there you go. Simple Easy. first night back in the van. That's this. I feel like you're at the other end of a footy field in here. This is so much. Yeah, room. it's a lot of room. A lot of bed space. <laughs> It's only a foot, but oh my god, it feels like a football field. Makes a difference. It's awesome. It's so awesome. I was going to show you, actually, I'll get them out. Where's those rubs, Beck? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Have a look at this. These, right, um, some fella last year pulled us up as we were leaving a server on Broken Hill. Was it Broken Hill? Yeah, it was Broken Hill, yep. Anyway, and he goes, oh, I've got to, I do my own barbecue rubs. I really want to send you some. I love your cooking and that. Anyway, they showed up in the mail, I don't know, months ago. But because we've sort of been not in the van, I haven't used them too much. But I've tried a few of them, and they are bloody unreal. So <laughs> we have, we've tried I like giving it. Like, how's that? He, off his own back, just pulled up and said, "Oh, I just want to help you. Like, I love what you do." So I'm going to say, "Mate, I love what you do," and you guys might be able to grab some. But they're called Calibre Smokehouse Barbecue Co. Uh, rubs and salts, and we got a Greek uh, Creek Sand, sorry, a Cracker Dust, and an Outback. Now, um, I like. I can't remember if it's the creek sand or that outback. Anyway, I'll have to look at them and smell them. I'm going to rub it all over my lamb. And they're awesome. I'll put in his Insta details here. Champion fella. And uh, if you watch them, mate, I remember when you pulled up outside the servo on Broken Hill. Uh, good lad. All right, I'm going to get this on the fire. And uh, it's dinner time. What do you reckon, kids? First night in the van. Yeah. 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 Snag, three veg, night. and bread. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's so really. night hey, what are you doing in here? There's still light outside and the footy still needs to be kicked. Really? It doesn't. It does. I kicked it. Does. The footy ain't got to kick itself. Yes, it can. Come on, I'll come out and kick it with you. Yeah! I, I need stop. video evidence Just of this. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
morning. It's coffee time. Oh, I like Say good day, lads. Good day. What do you reckon about this joint? Good. It was good? Yeah. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah. It was alright. It was alright. Good for a little overnighter. Here she is. So good Hello. morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, your first night back in the van on the road. What are your thoughts? We slept really well last night. I don't know. It felt just like normal. I don't know. I was lying there. I was like, this feels so normal. <laughs> it was weird. Hey, do you know where we're going? Bundy? No, um, sort of. Do you know what's there? Um, Slater's Farm or something? Splitters? Splitters Farm. Do you know what's at Splitters Farm? Animals? Okay. It could be animals. Could be a zoo. Could be a zoo? <gasps> a zoo? What animals do you want to pat, Bersie? I want to pat a giraffe. Uh, I think we're, you're a bit out of luck in Bundaberg patting a giraffe. What about you, Bill? What do you want to pat? I know! A chicken! What about you, Jack? A bird. A bird! What about you, Beck? What do you want to pat? A goat. Come for a walk, mate. We've pulled up. This is us. Have a look. Have a look. We're out in the back of the paddock, mate. This is... Mate, this is for us. Perfect. Check it. Uh, there's a heap of cabins along one side. There is a heap of powered sites oh, up there as well. This is unpowered in the bush. Got all this paddock to use. And we're the only ones here. We haven't got any neighbours for at least probably 250 metres. Yes. Ah, this is one of the joys, mate, of going unpowered when you've got like, spend the money on an off-grid power system, you save the money on fees, and you get spots to yourself. How good is it? What do you reckon, dear? Where are you? I'm here. It is. It's nice, eh? Hey? Yeah, it's a lovely spot. It is nice. It feels here. really nice and private. Yeah. Yeah. Look, spin around, take it in there, and have a look. Yeah. It's beautiful. Uh, how does look this? At that and out this window. Hey. Absolute Sorry, mate, ripper. I've just unhitched. I'm going to run into Bundy and get my um, mountain of oh, all this stuff that Beck wants from Bunnings. Oh, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> No, I've got to get a barbecue. Nick, I'm yeah. I showed you now walk around the bloody barbecue got left at the factory. So I've lined up, they've got it all in stock at Barbecue's Glue and Bundy. So I'm going to get one. And then we'll have another fire and cook some dinner here tonight. I'll tell you a hot tip for good meat. In Bundaberg, there's a place on the way in on the north side called The Chop Shop. Uh, really good butcher, mate. Get in there and get like a whole ribeye or a scotchy. Um, it's really good meat. they got everything. So we load up and just that'll last us probably two months now on mm. the road we can just load up on good meat all right i'm in my element dear yeah it's so good <laughs> yes I'm a <laughs> like it. Make him look up here, kids. <laughs> I like the black brown one. Oh, I like this little black one. He's super cute. Hey, he's buddy. Dead. I reckon they get fed a lot. Look, he's hanging out for us to feed him. How are you going? I want to pet him. Oh, this one's nice. Hey. Oh, he's nice and golden. He's beautiful and golden, isn't he? Look at his nose. There's <laughs> the van. There's the cows. And there's the goats. And there's the goats. What do you like better, cows or goats? Goats. Goats. What do you like better, cows or goats? Goats, because they're calmer. <laughs> goats are calmer than cows. I mean, cow. Check it, check it, check it. So, finally, uh, the Weber has made an appearance. I'll come and show you in a minute. The one, if you watch the vid when we give you the walk around, it got lost in uh, translation somewhere along the way and it ended up just stuck on a warehouse shelf. So, we now have a fresh Weber. I'll go and show you. So what I've got, actually I'll show you inside here first. I grabbed a couple of extra things this time. So if you have a look, I'm yet to use them, but I've got like the casserole dish and the roasting trays and stuff. So they, my friend will be copping a hiding. I'll show you how to use them, I'm pretty keen. And then uh, over here, here, here is the new addition. Check it, look at this. So it's the same, um, we're just breaking it in. How good are they when they're fresh? Look at that, woo -hoo. It's the same um, Weber as we had last time, but it's the, called the, um, I think they call it a premium. 
it's a baby cube but it's got the high top with a thermometer in it so you can do some like bigger roasts and things like that and the lid still shuts pretty nice hey eh? fits on our little slide here nice and easy and uh, you just have to buy an extra hose this gas hose needs to be 1.5 meter with a bayonet fitting for it to reach so we got um we're all sorted mate weber barbecue so for these arvos like I love cooking on the fire. Well, how good was that meal on the fire last night? Oh, it was amazing. Oh, mate, the smoke you get off charcoal is ridiculous. But when you just like pull up late and you can't be bothered having a fire and setting up all the gear, nothing beats a Weber. Oh yeah, bacon and eggs for brekkie tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Show you that in the morning. First big tester for the new screens. Like we got new windows, these Dometic premium jobbies. Um, look at that. I don't know, can you see how many bugs are out there? It's really hard to tell you. But like there is so many, there's bugs and beetles and moths and midges and there's a couple of mozzies there. And they're all banging on the other side of the screen. And we got, how many we got in the van? None! Yes. That's win number one for the new screens, mate. Honestly, those, there would have been bugs here in the old one with these screens. Look at them, they're all going, let me in. Let me in these beetles. Those damn beetles used to crawl around the edge of the perforated screen and they'd come in. And then just as you go to bed, they like land on your ear and start trying to crawl in. It's the worst. <laughs> I'm gonna just about to tell you a, a massive hot tip for when you're coming through Bunderberg. But uh, where have we just been, kiddos? Movies. The movies. That's another good reason we stayed here. It's only, what did it take, six, seven minutes to get into yeah, town? Yeah, it's nothing. But honestly, this is, or you re reckon, one of the best value, nicest base camps to explore an area mm. that we've probably come across in a long time. Yeah. So it is, we won't hold out any longer. It's pretty, um, it's pretty cool. It's called Wiper Scout Camp and it's literally I don't know, 8 k's out of town in Bundaberg and it's 25 bucks a night. Oh actually it's $10 per couple, $5 per extra person. So for us as a family of five, 25 a night, massive bush camp with heaps of trees, heaps of space. It's good. Anyway, I'm going to get out, I'll show you our little camp set up and we'll um, crank a fire and uh, what do you want? I've got some lamb cutlets there for dinner, you yeah. I don't think the crumb's gluten free mate, you might be. You can have a sausage. Loves a sausage. Dinner time, let me adjust the hat there in the camera. All right. Hey, I'm gonna try something new tonight. I'm gonna to do some chicken Kievs over the campfire in the background, but I'm gonna, um, I've just chucked a heap of charcoal on there and I've got some wood chips. I'm gonna smoke it. Try and do a smoked chicken Kiev. So they should be able to, oh yeah, sizzle on there, like so. This one, ooh, ready? Can I get some, Daddy? Yep, there you go, chuck that in. Chuck it in, chuck it in. Whoop. This, um, these are just the Bunnings, eh? You can buy them by the kilo or the two kilo bag. Let me try. You can try some, Bill. Throw it in. <laughs> yeah, put it on here, watch yourself, ready? And go. Hey, all right, that'll do it. I, I need to more. put mine on. Oh my God, I'm so bad at this. I think there's a bit too much flame there for my liking. I might have to sw swing them away. <laughs> oh, she's heating up. Oh. What the? Billy, 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 you're too hot. How is it so hot? Billy, Billy, you're too hot. Hello, moment of truth. Hey, um, what do you reckon? Did I, did I do it or not? I don't know, did you? Well, what do you reckon? Yeah, I reckon you nailed it. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say I nailed it, but it worked. Look at this, hang on. 
Let's pick one up. That one actually not that one. That one got a little bit burnt. Look at this. Ooh. Ooh. That's a campfire Kiev, my friends. It's a little bit hard because because you got it on the grill. When you try and flip them, the um the crumb wants to come off, right? But oh, look at that. It actually worked. A treat. So hey, uh, let's plate this up. We've got a bit of mash. Bit of three veg. Look at Charlie. She's eating bit of our broccolini. Charlie set the table and she's put like little napkin, like oh, paper towels down as napkins. You're all class, hey, mate. It's beautiful, darling. Yeah. All right, it well does. let's let's give you a look at what it looks like. Where's mine? This big dog over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. And then I'll give myself a couple of stalks of broccolini. Honestly, this stuff is the gear. Yeah. Oh, mate. Babe. That is a is bomb. Is that not? Mm. Look at. Oh my goodness. Really? Yeah, that's so nice. You're a bloody lucky woman, you are. I know. Do you? Yes, I do. <laughs> You're lucky too, mate. The kids are super hungry. Um, so what we found when we dropped them into school for a bit, we were putting these in their lunch boxes. These things here. Um, and the kids love them. So anyway, we're going to grab a few for the road trips because we're leaving at like 10 a.m. And the kids, bet Charlie just actually said, Dad, I'm hungry. So we just grab a few of these. Not all the time, but on those road trips, we know we're going to punch three hours now. We're going down the sunny coast. Um, we're only gonna, we won't show you anything there. We're going to pull up at the oldies, but I've got to go and get our old um, sun seeker. Just had a new aircon put in and under warranty. So we've got all that fixed up and a service done before we're going to, um, we're moving it on to sell it, right? So get it all in good shape before we move it on. Uh, but that's us, three hours in the car today down there. Here, grab them kiddos. One of those each. Yeah. I don't want to hear from you for like at least another hour. You good with that? Uh, no. <laughs> Alright, three hours in the car. What have you got, Rooster? What do you got? Oh my god. The world's biggest <laughs> strawberry. Are you serious? I just picked it up thinking that, it was oh god, that it's big. It's like a hamburger. No, it's a strawberry. Uh, I meant a mustache. Look at that. That is... Look Insane. Have a go. Tell me if it's any good. Is it good? Mm. <laughs> it's so juicy. I've never seen a strawberry that big. That I is, have. Mate, you Charlie have. got one of them before. Where? Yeah, I've had one of them before. Yeah, have she you? has. Well, of course you have. Yeah. <laughs> have you had a strawberry that big before? No, that's the first time I've seen well, one that big. Charlie's had one. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, what a lovely spot for lunch. What do you reckon, kids? Yeah. <laughs> There's so much grass out there. What about that side? Oh, the places we pull up. What do you reckon, dear? What are your favourite lunch stops? Oh, yeah, you can't go past the dump point. Check it. There's the gimpy dump point from Boat Shop. That's us. It's not bad out this side. You can pull up. There's a lot yeah. of grass there, but... And there's an alley <laughs> like, right over there. Anyway, Coffee. it's not all um, beer and Skittles or five-star campsites and beautiful locations. There's a lot of dump point lunch runs along the way, don't worry. <laughs> Like all the time. All the time. And we got tuna yeah. and brown rice is our go-to. Love two birds with one snake. Smashing it. <laughs> all right. Hey, um, it's not a very often we carry cash around, is it, dear? No. <laughs> anyway, T.Y., like we told you at the start of the vid, We've jumped back into our favourite, one of our favourite little mm. spots on the sunny coast. It's hard to drive past and not come in here, especially when the weather's looking like it is. But I'll give you some info. We are just at the ferry, right? You need 12 bucks to get across with your caravan. And here it is. We've got pole position because that ferry just filled up. So there you go. Um, our biggest hot tip is if you're towing up the beach, try and get it on a low tide. So low tide this morning is at what time, dear? It's at 9am, which is now. Which is now. So we'll get so across here. Morning. You get onto the third cutting and then we've booked a zone. So you have to book a camping zone and you have to get a vehicle entry permit. It's cost us about 58 bucks for the night to get up here. But these days that's cheap and you get to camp absolute beach fun. So we'll just get across the ferry and drive up the beach and we'll show you our beautiful campsite. Love t -bar. Update, how much the ferry cost us? Oh, it was actually $24. Because <laughs> we're over 10 over meters. Over 12 meters or yeah. something. Yeah, like we're a big horse. <laughs> you are kidding. Why wouldn't it be? 
Wow. Well, are you kidding me? What a day, mate. Oh my god, this is when you just like desperately want to get photos. Well, 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 would you look at this, mate? <laughs> you literally pop straight out here. It's like the soft sand is 30 metres to get onto the beach. And then this is why you hit it at low tide. Swing around there, back, Mate. Now, we've um, we booked zone three. It's the biggest zone. We thought that might be the best chance of getting a spot on our own. And it's about 25 to 26 k's up the beach or something. So I'll put in the info down here on the website. It tells you how to get there if you're coming from the north or south. Super easy. I think if you've never done any beach work in a van, this is a good spot to come as your first go. It's super easy, mate. Look at this. <laughs> yes. So the kids have already gone up the mountain there, but we were going to park here, but we reckon this spot here is a lot nicer. So Justin's going to back it right in here. I'm going to park my chair in those dunes and watch the sunset later. Right, we're back at Tiwa. I know you've been hanging for this, so I'll give you a bit of a walk around the campsite. This is old love's position for probably 24 hours straight. <laughs> uh, we had to back in a little bit dodgy, low range, backing up the dune, but check this out. There's the car in the van. You swing around. Eww. Oh, oh, oh. Mate, you know, one thing that I'm disappointed about here is there's no campfires anymore. What do you reckon, boys? Good yeah. Yeah! Sick. There's a lot of different camping areas along Tiwa. You find down in this zone three, there's a lot of these easy access ones. You only have to hit a little bit of soft stuff off the hard stuff to get in. Then you got a few trees for shade. You got the dunes behind you. I made a butt mate, line. You made a what? Butt line. A butt line? Yeah. yeah. The kids just scooted all the way down the dune in their new clothes and uh, Beck's not very happy. They made like a bobsled track down the dune. Anyway, I'll get up there and show you some photos and videos. It's a beautiful spot, mate. If you haven't been to Tiwa, get around it. I just want to show you this grey water bypass valve. So this is a perfect spot to use it in these sort of high turnover campsites. You don't want to like let your grey water and yucky stuff in the like out on the campground because then the next person who comes along might want to pull up exactly where you've let it out. So <clears throat> I am going to shut this off and then shut this off and then that is it. All our grey water will go into that tank and then I can dump it out of here when I'm ready. Put it straight down a dump point or something. There you go. Anyway, it's just my two cents worth. I hate it when I pull up to a campsite and there's like a whole big puddle of someone's leftover shower and sink water. It just sits there and goes stale and smells gross. So, anyway, 
Try and look after it for the next person. Not a bad spot for lunch, mate. Look at my view. Check out the view. Have a look at this. Hang on a second. Oh, what? So good, eh? <laughs> right. what, what are you making? Nothing beats that. Just um, ham, cheese, and cucumber wraps. The kids just want that specific three items. So I'm going to whip that up. That is lunch done. Check it out. It's just about sunset here at Tiwa. What do you reckon, Ruth? Yeah. Anyone would think we're at the snow already. Look at him, Brady. Yeah. Me too. Got a flannel on, got Ugg boots. It's bloody cold, by the way. Anyway, it's a cracking arvo. Hey, I can't believe we even went for a swim today. Can you believe we went for a swim? Yep. Uh, we're playing a bit of giddy up on the mat, dear. Yeah, how good is it? We love all it. Today. We're on the beach and um, we're all in our we winter wings already. <laughs> it's like four o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> but check it. I don't think it's even four o'clock yet. Who's winning, by the way? No, um, you reckon? Me. Billy no, or Charlie? Me. You're no, winning. Definitely no. Oh, right. okay, yeah. All right, come and check out dinner. Look at this. I've got smoke pouring out of this thing. I've got some wood chips in there. Got some snaggle pusses. I've got a bit of lamb rump. Have a look at this. Ooh, time to turn, my friend. Yum. If you haven't seen these, you can chuck wood chips in these. And smoke. There we go. Chuck that in there. I'll tell you what. The old woolly snag doesn't turn out too bad when you cook it for 10 minutes on a bit of smoke. I'll tell you what, it's delicious. Oh, look at that. Oh. How much do you love me, dear? I'll just have a sticky piece. How much do you love me? Yeah, very. Like this, it smells so good. I'm keen. <laughs> Who's the best cook in the world, dear? Jamie Oliver. Who's the best cook in the world, dear? Jamie Oliver. You're getting the answer wrong. <laughs> look at this. This is my smoked vegetable trio and a bit of lamb rump. Ooh, foggy yeah. lens. Hang on a second. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And with a view, I tell you. So beautiful. Check it. Check it, check it. Sunrise at mm. Tiwa with the most delicious dinner in the world. You're a lucky woman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <What? laughs> Look at that. Oh, a little bit late for sunrise, sorry. Coffee town. Oh, press the wrong button. It's too early. <laughs> ah, what do I need to do? This one here. Oh, look at that view out the window. That, my friends, is the end of this first episode heading south. Um, we're just going to pack up now. What do you reckon, dear? We've got a big day. We're gonna get down the Gold Coast, go to Dreamworld for Rui's birthday. Yeah, we've got it. Yeah, sadly we're only doing one day here. We definitely would have loved to have stayed for the week. It's absolutely beautiful, but we've got to get to the snow. So that's it, team. Should come in closer here. Can you um? Can you smile for me, dear? Big smile. Oh, have I got smile. something on here? Yes. Love it. <laughs> Every day, mate. I love it. All right, we're just gonna pack up this sea gear mat, get all the sand out of it, and then back to North Shore, mate. See you later, Tiwa Beach. Hello. Gold Coast. <laughs>